I am very pleased for the men and women in uniform that Congress has come together in a bipartisan fashion to pass the Defense Authorization Bill. This bill has a pay raise for our military. Uh, it deals with our Wounded Warrior Program. It has a lot of benefits for military families. Uh, it authorizes the equipment that our military needs to fight the war that we're in and the wars that we could be in in the future. It uh, allows detention in the law of war. We're no longer are we in the box of having to read Miranda rights to terrorists who come to America to kill us. We're giving authority to the American uh, intelligence community, law enforcement community, and military to detain someone who gets to America and attacks us here at home to gather intelligence. This idea of requiring Miranda rights and providing a lawyer to a terrorist who makes it here to America to kill us all, uh, I think undercuts our ability to be safe. Uh, if you can detain somebody overseas wanting to attack, attack America and not provide them a lawyer or Miranda rights, you should be able to do it here because this is the battlefield. America is the prize of the enemy. So now we have better tools to defend ourselves and gather intelligence. Homegrown terrorism is a real threat. There are a lot of people being radicalized on the internet. So if someone goes to Pakistan as an American citizen, gets radicalized in Madrasa and comes back here and starts attacking Americans, I want to make sure they're held for intelligence gathering purposes and they're not read the Miranda rights, but they're held by the military, the CIA, and the FBI to find out it's another attack coming. These are the things we should have done years ago that will allow us to defend ourselves and provide due process. Every person detained will go before a federal judge and the government has to make its case. So this is a great bill for the men and women in uniform. It has a huge bipartisan a vote. I've been working on the detention language for years and I could not be more pleased that we're better able to defend ourselves now in the war on terror and the threats we face are real. We're at war, we're not fighting a crime, and now we have the tools given to our military, our CIA, our FBI to better protect America and I'm proud of this bill.